Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Chess on the Brain. So let's do some Chess 960 streaming. Feel free to challenge me on LeeChess.org. And let's create a game and do... Why don't we do three and three? Three plus three. That's kind of my go-to. I tend to like where you have enough time to talk about a little bit. Maybe even four plus four, but we'll give this a shot. So three plus three rated games. And we'll see if there are any takers. And let me make sure we're good to go. Yep, looks like live with probably not the best stream health, but hopefully that comes through all right. I guess everyone's online right now. Okay. So we have somebody who wants to play a five minute game. Now yeah, why not? Start with the warm up. If they are, I guess they, yeah, I guess they got a game. Let's see. I've been I've been doing like one plus three or even half plus three, also kind of starting from almost zero, and just playing on the increment. That's kind of fun too. Let's see if anyone wants to go for that. So how about one? How about one minute? But we add three seconds to each move. So you don't get you know, super low on time. And um, haven't been playing as much 960. Oh, they're back again. They have a five plus three and a five plus zero. But um, yeah, I just really want to get back into it. I always enjoy streaming it because it really gets to, you know, chess strategy and a lot of interesting tactics that come up. And you, you have to create your own opening basically. Okay, so I played them a couple times. 1659. Okay, let's look for where we're going to open up here. Let's see. Any weaknesses? Nothing immediately attacked. Let's just do like a Sicilian. The kings are in the original places. Okay, they want to play a C3 Sicilian, essentially. Although this is going to be a little different. Now, I don't want to help them play D4, so let's just develop the knight, get some control over the center, make them work to, <clears throat> to achieve the D4 push. Now I'm eyeing at that square. I want this square as well. So I, I would like to get some kind of knight jump into here. So I think it's probably not a bad idea to start with this and anticipate some kind of some kind of knight jump. Some sort of control of the diagonal would be nice if we can achieve bishop a6, which we can probably do and start to kind of work on that soft spot. So I like I like the idea of b6. I'm always just thinking, okay, where are the weaknesses? <clears throat> How can I get to the weaknesses? Uh, sitting around at home all day can get um, can get interesting. Well, it's it's a welcome change, but but it's, you know, got to stay active. Got to stay active. So we're, we're immediately applying pressure on d3. Let's see how they respond. Well, they haven't really reacted to that. So unfortunately, we don't have knight here. Maybe like a bishop maneuver to here is interesting. Um, hmm. Why don't we just start striking at that? Because I, I have a feeling they want to play um, bishop here. So at least we could take their bishop if they do that. Yeah, that, that might come under some pressure then. I'd really like to be able to get this square. Oh, they did that. Well, I'll just come back, actually. So now we'll strike from this way. Or maybe even come here, this kind of thing. But we're going to really strike at that point. OK, they're not letting that happen yet. So we go here, and then we to C7, and then we can get to E5. Now we're really hitting those points, the weak spots. Uh, let's insert this move, just because I don't want to see the knight. I don't want to see the knight getting to here. So we'll make it a little tougher for them to do that. They play, okay, they're going there. We'll see where this goes. I think queen, okay, yeah. That's fine. They can push. Okay, fine. We'll let them push if they want.
So we'll get some central control on there. Ah, eh, bishop four, not a big deal. Probably just castle. Actually, I might castle queen side. Probably king side though. Okay. It's just castle. And I should probably pick up the pace a little bit. Can we just take that? Yes, we can. If they take, I think it looks safe. Okay, we take back. Any tricks? I don't see any tricks. E5 is covered. Uh, F5, I just stick my knight on E5. Not super worried about it. Okay, you want to go there? We will go back. Preserve the bishop. Keep the diagonal pressure. I think they should go for F5. If I were them, I would do that. Oh, they get a pawn back. Eh, that's not a big deal. Not ideal, but it's all right. Where are they going with the queen? Is it trapped? Yeah, I think they trapped their queen. All right, let's pick up some time on the clock. They go there, we go here. No back rank mate nonsense. And we kind of start to clean up. Actually, I'll just take this one. And then let's, yeah, make a loof for the king. That loofed with g6. Okay, they resign. I mean, that's a queen, yeah. Okay, this is good warm-up, though. So this is, was it five minute flat? Or no, 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 no this was uh, three plus three, yeah? One plus three. Okay, we, we changed it up. All right, so any weaknesses, any weaknesses? Possibly g7, I like looking at that. Let's start with b3, then. So we'll aim at g7, see what they do about it. So we got our um, Nimza Larson attack. In, in regular chess and we'll see how this how this plays out in chess 960 but kind of you know kind of like an English and we can play d4 if we want okay now it's pretty much in English because they, they respond that way by blocking the diagonal so what to do I think this is pretty customary we'll get our knight out get d5 bishop goes to c2 knight goes to g3 pretty pretty straightforward development and I really want to hit them with d4. They're controlling e4, so they cannot bypass it. Well, now they might be able to. But let, let's get this quick castle. This time I want to castle queen side. I mean, I have a lot of coverage there. And let's just bust open the center. I think that's the way to go. This this time it feels a bit more um, on point, just, just straight. I mean, playing with the uh, white pieces, getting immediate attack, no delay. Um, Let's see, bishop a3. I think bishop a3 might post some... No, I have to be careful myself. <clears throat> Knight g3. Oh, let's invite f4, stick the knight on e4. See if they go for f. If they go for f4. I don't want to leave the knight loose. So they do that. Okay, so that's kind of what I want. Because I have this square. And if they ever go here, well, then I have... I mean, we'll kind of move around, but I'm trying to provoke weakening in, weakening in the center. Oh, I mean, we're hitting this, so they have to respond, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Bishop a3, pawn takes pawn. Let's do this. Let's do this queen e1. I think it's time for that. Because I cover the knight, and then I'm ready for bishop a3, I think. Okay, let's do that now. After our preparations. So that's going to be pretty hard to deal with. They do this. Okay, so, so they just dropped... Uh, they just drop this, and they'll probably feel like they want to give up their bishop. Or well, one or the other is going to... I mean, I'll keep my knight there if they don't take it. I'll probably... Yeah, so they do that. Take, and then bust open the d-file. Well, they got... Rook d8 fails to just take on e5, so they have to go there. Okay. I'll still trade that. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. And then when the knight takes back, I'll move my queen off the dangerous line. A little prophylactic. Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Because rook d8, then I take on a four. It looks fine. A lot of protection on the on the bishop. And they're just kind of dropping stuff. So if they drop stuff and it's fair to take, I'll take it. They, they are accumulating time, though. Okay, if they go knight g, I want to anticipate those things and try to, try to rack up a little bit of time here. So now I can go queen c5. If they go rook a8, I'll take on a seven, I think. Yeah, I'll take on a7, win another pawn. Are we up like three pawns? Yeah. 
So we've got three extra pawns. Looks pretty solid. C5 pawn could come in. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Eh, okay. Well, we don't want to lose on time. That looks okay. And then maybe E3 or Rook somewhere. Everything looks pretty solid. Okay, I looked at that. We take it. And that doesn't do much for him. Then we go here, so we don't drop that guy. And, oh, we do drop that one, then. Okay, let's get the queen back in the game. Yeah, we're dropping pawns now. Give him a couple pawns back. All right. Um, well, d5 is loose, but problem on g1. But d5 should be hard to hold. I think we're going queen. Yeah, I think c5 was kind of a mistake. It wasn't the best move because it allowed them to... Um, to, it, it broke the communication with my, my queen. But I'm still up a pawn, and I'm pretty happy with the position. So we'll trade queens, and then this pawn's going to fall as well. We come here with an attack on the knight, and that looks pretty good again. And like, again, little prophylaxis. Just cover the second rank, <clears throat> give him nothing. Now let's go, let's play for tricks. So we're going for bishop, uh, it still works. So they don't have any, so this, this just fails because it's pinned. And that's game. Yeah, that's game. Okay. Good warm-up games, though. All right, let's do one more. So we got... I like to let the time go down a bit, you know? Just let it get close to zero and see how my opponent reacts to it. And I like to just take my time in general, but... Gotta, gotta find the balance. All right, let's go with an attack on the pawn. But then you got to be like, um, kind of like Kobe, be the um, a clutch player. Grew up, you know, in L.A. So being a Lakers fan, and yeah, so Kobe was always, always a good clutch player. You know, last few seconds, he just he made those shots. Yeah, I think it changed songs here. I thought I had it on a loop, but maybe not. Okay, now now we're on American Idol somehow. I'm not, I'm not sure how we got to American Idol, but I'll have to change that. Let's see. So. I think it's okay to take that. All right, take back. Hey, don't forget to subscribe below and to see all the latest American Idol news. Maybe D5. Yeah, I like that D5 central strike. Ah, uh, I kind of hallucinated there. Well, do I have to worry about that? Yeah, I think that's okay. D5 to take. I'll go queen c7 first. And we actually hit the, um, the h2 pawn as well. Now we got D5. Auto capture. Get some time on the clock. News tonight, millions of Americans ordered to shelter in place as the coronavirus pandemic spread. Okay, let's do this. Let's get some dark square control. And maybe now we'll hop into F4. Hit the bishop. Create some more possibilities. Major shutdown. Several states and cities closing restaurants, bars, gyms. Uh, yeah, I'll take the bishop. Leave those possibilities of taking on D3. I could take it out. Yeah, I should have maybe taken it right away. We'll just take it now. Check. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I made him. Well, no, I have this move. Yeah, I have this move. Ah, uh, we had bishop check as well. If I get the chance, I'll toss that in. And we have it anyway. With pinning the queen. So it wasn't too late. Well, they should have played like king e2, but that was, that was a bit out of nowhere, that bishop e4. But that's the thing about chess 960. Based on the configuration of your pieces, suddenly they're on these weird squares. But I, they did pretty well that game in the opening, so I gotta watch out. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, do we have now we have news? Okay, I, I thought I had it on repeat. Anyway, this, this is playing random stuff. Let's <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's just play solid. E3. 
I get some water. D4, C4. I'll just play kind of like, kind of solid like that, maybe. Yeah, same idea. Sort of Nimzo Larson attack with B3. Lets the both, lets both bishops out. No weaknesses created. And, well, at least there's. Yeah, at least the stream is um, reflecting the times. <laughs> Got the news. In, the news somehow playing at the same time. So, bishop, I somehow I like bishop d3, just easy development. And, I mean, bishop f5 could could be uncomfortable. They'd have to block with a knight. Yeah, bishop f5, knight six, d4, playing for d5. And I don't see much of really much consequence there. So I think we can do it, really, without worrying about it. And d4 is coming. They have to go 96 to, to protect their queen, because that's pretty dangerous now. They're still fine, though. But I go d4, trying to hit the knight on e6, working that pin. So you always just, there's always going to be some kind of opportunity. Now, if you're playing regular openings, it's sort of known, right? Like, if you're playing, um, oh, you had 96. All right. Okay, new player, I guess. Well, good games, good games. But if you're playing um, like a regular opening, you kind of know, all right, if I'm playing the French, I know I want to play d5 and c5, and I know I want to hit the d4 pawn. Um, in the Sicilian, I want to stick mine out on c4, and I want to you know, try to take the bishop on e3 or then pawn on b2. There's like kind of known weaknesses. But in, in chess 960, you have to figure that out yourself every single game based on the mix of the pawn, <coughs> excuse me, the pawn structure and the pieces. So let's see. Well played. Oh, thank you. Good games. Yeah, we had some interesting games. So good warm ups. So, and let me. Oh yeah, let me take a moment. I don't know what happened. Like, why is this on? Okay, I guess it's the thing to watch right now. But um, all right, let's go back to this. Have some royalty free Afrobeat music. Let's see if we can get something else like that. All right, mix. Uh, okay, we got free Africa. Okay, let's try that. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so let's do that. Put it on loop. So hopefully it doesn't. I guess it uh I guess it only loops a certain number of times. Oh now it's on the mess. Okay. The other one must not have been. Alright. So let's do a new game. I think I like the time control. Keep gotta keep me on my toes. I kinda had a concussion. Like a small concussion. Uh, I got jumped by four guys. Uh, which was the first time it's happened. Uh, hopefully the last. But unfortunately it wasn't that bad. Um but yeah couple punches and probably got a little bit of a concussion so I'm getting back into the game you know gonna keep stay on top of my game let's see um and then, and that's what something i've thought about chess is that it's kind of um it, it's kind of like a confirmation for yourself when you're playing well you're like okay i'm i'm in the mental space i need to be in you kind of you kind of find that flow and when you're doing well, it's like, it's sort of a self-affirmation. But and if you're off, you're like, okay, I need to get more sleep or do something for my, like my brain health essentially, right? So it's kind of like a calib, uh, calib like you're calibrating or it's, it's like um, self-assessment in a way. So yeah, no, and nobody likes to see when you're getting, you know, say, uh, you know, you're not as good as you were when you're, um, you know, 20 or whatever. It's not fun, but, but still you have the wisdom and you know, you gotta, you gotta make it work and just stay healthy. So, nobody wants to play one plus three, huh? Well, I want to get back to the 2200 level too, so I'm trying to work on my rating. <clears throat> okay, they don't, they don't want to abort. Oh, we have a, oh, we have a 2666. Uh, okay, wait, a bot. I don't want to play it. Yeah, I don't want to play a bot. I mean, I mean, that would just be kind of interesting. Okay, well, let's just find out, whatever. 26, like a Grandmaster level bot. I mean, that just sounds a bit weird, but I mean, nothing to lose. Okay, so this is a standard chess. Okay, what what what, what do you have? What do you have, man? Omega Pro. Let's see what you got. Omega Pro. 
So is this like, did the bot challenge me on its own? Or what? What happened here? Um, I can't go B6, that's annoying. Wait, are you just, I mean, I'll take, I'll take the pawns. You, you're kind of like, kind of like a sacrificial bot. You have a sacrificial bot, okay. Are you sure you're 2600? Like, are you just doing random stuff? And then like, and then you're gonna try and crush me or something? I mean, I guess, you know, this looks pretty good, you know? I, I don't really mind. Are you, are you drunk? I, th I think the bot is drunk. Let's see. Um, how can we exploit this? I mean, it, it, it definitely doesn't look, <clears throat> it doesn't look good for them. Queen H4 is up there on the list. Okay, okay. Oh, you're giving me a free rook now, really? Well, I mean, if you're going to give me, I mean, you know, if you want to give me a rook in the other rook, I'll take that one. Okay, so can we take this one? I mean, I'm not really sure what, how is this thing like a 2600? What, what is going on? Okay, can I take a free queen? I mean, a rook plus a queen? This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, I'm just going to keep munching stuff. And then, uh, is that mate? Is that almost a mate? He's not a mate yet. Um, I mean, sure. Yeah, I'll take this one. I mean, we can trade queens, or we can just take this. Is that that's almost a mate? And then I guess it's more of like how many moves is it going to be a mate now? Okay, we got it in 18 moves. The uh, 2666. I don't know. It's like messing around with unrated games. So it doesn't. So it only plays well when it's rated or something. I, I don't know. That was weird. That was weird. Um. Okay, so hopefully um, I improved your algorithm, Omega Pro. Yeah, you you probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't like hang a bunch of stuff, and especially not the G3 pawn, because that's pretty dangerous, right? So <laughs> that was funny. That was just this random. Okay, well we have another challenge. Same bot. Oh, now it's wait. Now it's oh, uh, Urima bot. Thirty twenty six. Okay, I don't want to play these bots. I'm, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, create a game. No, I, th I thought I was going to get, like, I thought I was going to play ridiculously good and, and sweep me off the board. Um, that was, was played like a, like a 600 level player or less, 200 maybe. Um, somehow it's, it's testing to see what, maybe to see like how a human plays when, when its opponent plays poorly or maybe there's no reason to it. Who knows? Um, so is anyone, is anybody going to play? One plus three. Okay. Laundry's done. One plus three. No takers? Um, did it even work on the stream? Am I even streaming? So, we got this. Yeah, I guess so. What about what about on here? We got tools, uh, community. Let's see. If I click on this, streamer manager. Am I, am I in there? Am I, let's see, streamers. Because it didn't work last time. Fortuna chess coach. We got Eric Rosen, and he's good. I've seen him before. And am I live or not? There's a lot. No, I'm not live, apparently. Um, active one minute ago, last stream was six minutes ago. So maybe it's, maybe if I keep playing, it will think I'm active. I mean, I'm not really sure why it says I'm offline. That's, there's some, there's some glitch. Do I have to have like the exact same title or what? I'm pretty sure it's the same. Live chess 960. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, whoever wants to challenge me, I, I, I'm ready to go. So play. Okay, let's do let's do like an, a five. Maybe people want to play a little longer game. Let's try like we got to we got to find out where the demand is. Five plus. It's like where is the stock now? Is it is it you know down to five dollars? What is it at? Five plus five? Okay. And and then I can really jump, delve into the game if we get a five plus five. It's kind of strange. Okay, we have a one. Nah, I don't know about one plus two. I was kind of doing that. I was playing anonymously a little bit on uh, Lee Chess, just like random games and I was getting back into it. And I was playing like a zero plus two or something. That was actually pretty fun. So maybe if I'm really, you know, if I'm, maybe if I have a little sugar or something, some or like Larry Christensen, uh, chew on some ginseng. I have a ginger, but not ginseng at the moment. Um, let's see. 
Apparently ginger is good for, for, for your health. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I think we can go standard e4 here. Get the bishop out. Is it, there is a weakness here. Now we can, when we get the other one out, we can go like this to strike at it. Maybe we can play for something like b4 and queen b2. Combined with bishop d4. Ooh, combined. With, now that's going to be pretty powerful there. So we could play like a king's gambit type of thing with f4. So I'm just thinking of ways to attack that because this is clearly the weak spot, right? Nothing else is really weak at the moment. Uh, maybe this, it's only guard, but the knight comes out, easily guards it. You can only guard this with bishop f6 or by pushing it. But then we might, you know, hit the knight or something. So let, let's just quickly get on this. Um, hmm. What about f4 right away? Or knight g3 right away, and then knight f5. I, I don't know, I don't wanna get stuck on g7. I might get lost. Hmm. I'm definitely liking some King's Gambit type stuff. Here. f4, no time for knight g6 to stop this. And I'll just probably not take it back for a bit. I could just sort of sack it. And then we go, because we don't allow bishop f6. We go bishop here. See if they play f6 and keep their bishop cooped in. So I'd like to get more pressure on that. And I see some type of queen swing, but we can't get there. Bishop's in the way. That bishop's opened up. Um, I mean, I, uh, I could take, if they go c5, I go bishop back. I could take, knight comes out. Looks a little annoying. How about knight d3? Yeah, I'm liking the look of knight d3. Mm. Knight e2 is unnecessary. Knight d3, bishop g4, eh. Maybe knight, maybe I don't like bishop, I'm in c4. Maybe I don't like that pin. So let, let's do this. Because I, if I went here, they could have could have pinned it to the rook, and maybe just get rid of it. So I didn't really want that. And what about this guy? So I think we can trade off that one, and then that would allow because that knight's actually an effective defender. And when we take back, we can now swing over this way and make some attacks on these pawns. And then remember, we still have our knights. Yeah, and as I said, c5 I would have just gone back, didn't do anything. But now they are the, the rook is hanging. Uh, and so is this pawn here. So I have to, I have to be careful. Um, maybe, maybe g3. Not really what I want. It's more of a defensive move. But I don't have enough development to justify real sacrifices yet. I mean, rook h4 is, a, you know, I really wanted knight g3. And he's kind of trying to throw that off. Hmm. I think I could go knight, I mean, this should be three, g5, eh, I don't want that queen to come in though, it's more, it's not about the pawn, it's just, I don't want to see the queen in my territory like that. So I think maybe I have to go with uh, g3, and then the knight will sort of emerge through f2, it's just not what I want though, so so if I'm, I want to, I want to stick with what I'm, my goal, so rook h4, f5, you gotta be stubborn and try to make your plans work. Now then I come back, let's say, and this is hanging. I don't know, that's kind of a mess. That's interesting. I don't want to let their bishop out though. Yeah, so I think the I think the containment strategy, and it's like, okay, okay, I have to make a compromise. I don't get my knight where I want it, but it's not bad on F2. And I think we're gonna have to go with some type of queen. Well, you know, I, I do have a nice lead in development though. I've got two pieces out. They have none out. Got central control. Okay, I felt like that was coming. And then I think this is the moment for knight f2. Maybe c3, actually. c3 is a move. Kind of like c3. Let's start getting our queen out. And then the queen could come to d3, and the bishop could come like maybe here. The king will castle queen side. You, you always have to be thinking ahead in terms of what is my ideal setup. Actually, I worked with an IM once in Budapest during a tournament there, and he, and he said, you know, just what's your desired setup? You know, you got to be very clear in your desired setup. That goes for regular chess or chess 960. 
So I don't know, maybe, maybe this, uh, this kind of annoying probing move. And then we can see if they go g6 and a weaken f6 and stop it. We also stop this. And if they do that, okay, well now it's pinned. Now that it's pinned, I'm a little little happier about that. Um, well, now they're walking into takes, possibly takes here. That looks pretty good. Check, check. That just seems to work. Yeah, it just seems like it works. I mean, they're going to hit the knight on h1 again, but ah, they dealt with it like that. Well, that doesn't look... Oh, okay, okay. That was interesting. Well, because they're hitting my knight. Okay, fine. I'll just I'll just do the check. Uh, this gets a little messy. Check. Or queen check. Hmm, rook check. And we have five second increments, so even if I get down to like two seconds, I don't really care. I mean, I'd rather take time analyzing it and just have fun with like no time left. Gotta do that. These clutch plays. Oh wait, do we have bishop c5 coming? Oh, that could be strong. Yeah, if they go bishop b7, I'm seeing... If they go bishop b7, I go bishop c5, targeting this. Now the threat is I want to take this. Funny enough, actually, if they, as it turns out, if they take this, I immediately get to win that. Because the knight would be, you know, the knight's just pinned, it can't do anything. So we have this, this is a problem for them. Okay, this is getting super interesting. I feel I feel like this has got to be good. This has got to be good. Now do I want to trade? Okay, so we're, we're we're just winning a pawn. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take it and just take my pawn. Actually, when I take on, if they take with the okay, they took with the king. That was a better move. Um, I can get an isolated pawn there, but I don't want to help their. Now oh, the bishop's getting out. Um, I like that ruining of their pawn structure. I take on e5. I take on c6. I don't see any counterplay really. If I don't take on e5, their knight becomes an. Oh, they got knight f3. Yeah, especially because they have knight f3. I'm just going to take it, and I'm I'm content with with just ruining their pawn structure. It sounded kind of <laughs> strange, but um, no, we don't have anything, any tricks, I don't think. But queen d3 is just the standard. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I wanted to take on c6, didn't I? Yeah, why not? Why, I don't see anything that they have. They just, I'm just pretty solid here, and I'm just winning some pawns. I think oh, I'm up one pawn. Okay. Ah, I don't have queen d3. Well, do I? Okay, fine. I'll go. I'll, I'll just, I'll just uh, settle for queen c2. And it's just kind of like a positional advantage, you know, where this is the kind of game I like to play. Once I kind of lock it down, we've got a weak pawn here. They can't even bother the rook. The knight's going to come in and further anchor that, going to blockade the pawn. It could come to there or there. Uh, we simply castle the king now. Just press on the other, just press on the other rook. And I just I just don't see what they have, you know. It's, it's super solid. The king is nice and safe. You can always go to B1, but he's fine there um because he's not really open and we just keep this cocoon around him and pile up on this pawn maybe we strike in the middle anytime we want so they they, they add a little protection <clears throat> so we're up one pawn we could trade queens but should i uh not, not really in a rush to trade queens let's just, let's play really solidly d3 knight f2 and just just try to win this pawn and, and just see what like what are you going to do ah they're not letting us go there Okay, well, you know what? Fine, I will trade coins. I'll play the end game. Okay. That's pretty good. Alright. But I just feel like I have a pretty good, uh, comfortable position. And the knight, the knight will find its way into the game. I need the it's a priority to get the knight out, so there's no way to stop knight up two now. Knight f2 is coming, and then it's going to probably blockade the pawn and just be very comfortable there. The king could go to c2, protect this. It's just like this kind of, again, just this kind of long term pressure that we want. Um, yeah, and then we'll, and then they're going to double up, probably. No, they're going to do that. I'm going here, hitting this one. And if they push, it's going to become a liability for them, um, which they did do. And I suppose I'll. Take 
it will trade down and do auto capture. And like I said, I think I think this is liability for them. Um, oh yeah, yeah, sure. They're just gonna drop this pawn. So you can see the superiority of the knight over the bishop. Usually a lot, a lot of people say, I want the bishop, not the knight. Well, it depends, right? That's why they're both about three points. Some people say bishop's like three and a quarter, three and a half. I think the main, okay, there's a couple of reasons. Um, I'd say the main reason for that, hold on a second. The main, I still can't do anything. The main reason for that is um, that the bishop's long range. And if you have the bishop pair, it's a nice asset. Okay, they're just kind of dropping everything there. Um, I'm very happy to go into the end game here if they want to take. Otherwise, I'll start pushing my queen side pawns. Okay, go there. Centralization, we could come to keep on. But there's just nothing much they could do here. Uh, I still want to trade. Okay, and we'll just begin pushing. Yeah, it's just pretty much a win. And nothing they can do yet. I think I may have messed up. Yeah, I saw that coming. But we have this move yet. No, oh, I messed it up. I messed, oh no. Completely messed that up. Hold on, hold on. Come here. Okay, yeah, I totally didn't need to give him that. See, I got too, I got too confident. Now I gave him a little something. But is it enough? I don't think so. Hmm. Ideally, I don't want to be in front of it, but I think we can do some stuff here. But um, yeah, the bishop. So the bishop pair is really good. If you can, let's see. if you can make use of it in the, um, you know, in the end game, it's a, it's a really good asset. Let's see. I got to focus. Am I messing this up? This is interesting. I think it's still, oh no. No, that was okay. Because the king is cut off. I, I, he should have, they, they should have, they had another resource that they didn't do. But the king is cut off. I think it's winning now. Uh, possibly. Or am I, maybe not, maybe not. It's, it's gonna come down to timing. I totally, I made one really bad move though. I just totally overlooked that. Can we win this? The, the poor placement of the king is pretty interesting. Let's see. I gotta keep an eye on this because there's certain drawing chances that they have. Hmm, this is tricky. No, we, we gotta, because of this threat though, they gotta be careful. Oh, I think I moved it the wrong way. I think I moved it the wrong way. Yeah, the rook went, I should have used the rook as a shield, which I failed to do. Yeah, I messed this up. I think it's a draw. They probably just sacked their rook. Totally messed that up. Because I had such a just a comfortable win win ahead of me. 
And then I did one move where I, yeah, I had to get too far away. Okay, let's see where they go. Yeah, it's just a draw. Stalemate. All right, let's do that again. Now, yeah, the key was, I'll go back to that position. Okay, let's try and not give him any chances this time. So I'll immediately strike at this. Okay, I'm seeing some weakness of the rook. Not really sure why they, yeah, that probably wasn't the best move. Hmm. I want to, let's see. Hmm. I want to be able to strike at the rook somehow. I think it's going to start, yeah, we'll just go e5. And then bishop f6 should be pretty effective. Giving them some issues there. Okay, they go there. And I immediately go bishop f Ah, they've got, they've got takes, takes, and they have this move. So I think what we'll do is just bypass it. We don't want to give them this d4 too easily. They have bishop d4 though. They found it. Maybe they're listening. <laughs> Then they would know. But um, yeah, bishop d4 covers the diagonal. Let's see. We have c5. That's interesting. No. We have to trade it. Yeah. We'll just trade it. Take the rook and try to get a lead in development. Okay, it's pretty good. They're playing pretty well. Um, so we'll just strike right in the middle. The problem is the bishop doesn't really have any activity. So if I, I'm happy if I get my bishop to d5, which we did. Because now I can take this way and I'll hit g2 as well as the queen. They're pretty good though, I gotta be careful. The problem though is their, their structure is just kind of getting in the way of their pieces. So you don't really want that kind of structure. Like b3 just blocks the bishop, g3 blocks the knight. As long as this is here, it's kind of hindering them. They probably have to bring out this knight. And meanwhile, I have pretty easy development. My knight can go to the center, the other knight can go maybe here, or even here, can target this pawn. I, I like this square. So that's an argument for knight b6 to here to hit this one, which they just played. Hmm. So, did they just give me this move? I mean, can't I just go here and hit this? Does that work? Looks like it should work. Hmm. If I take, it does look pretty good. If I don't take, they're going to close it up anyway. I have C5. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I, I think uh, if I take that bishop d3, I don't like bishop d3, uh, f3 rather, and the win d3 next. I think I like a5, because it prepares queen here, and also maybe even chips with this. Something about that I like. I could lift both the rooks up that way, that's kind of cool. So we can play like rook a6 and then swing over into the center and the queen goes this way and hits this way. 
and the knight easily comes in somehow like d6 or here and this knight could come in here Okay, I think they want to meet. They want to meet me with Queen D4. It looks like, or check. Uh, maybe I don't think the check does anything. I just block with the knight. So maybe. Queen A7, Queen D4. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I do like Queen A7 right away. I just don't see what queen d4 does for them. Queen e5 check doesn't do it. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. No, it doesn't do anything for them. So, because I'm not worried about losing this, because I'm I'm gonna get this looks pretty dangerous. And then I hit this one as well. Open up the bishop. They still got issues with the rook in the corner. So I'm expecting probably queen d4 or maybe even d4. Always try to anticipate what they're gonna do. Um, and then I, I would just take it. They take that, and then I take this one. And we get this one. So it's kind of like a um, clearance of pawns in the center, trying to visualize um, where things are going to be. And I feel pretty comfortable here. But again, I'm not going to get nonchalant. <laughs> Last time I got, I think I got, my lesson was that I got too comfortable. I thought I had them. Uh, sometimes that when you, when you get, you know, you let them slip away that way. <clears throat> Which I was, I was, yeah, looking forward to cleaning up that, that position. Um, and I, yeah, just totally messed it up. Still had some pressure, but he, then they, they defended well and they got the draw. So let's try and, see, let's try and close this one out though and be really careful. Because you still just see this increase in peace activity. Okay, they're playing more defensively. Now, hmm. Ooh, sounds getting his, his fingernails clipped. Not fun. Um, well, I mean, I, I think they, now I don't like to push as much, and I think, I think we could aim for some stuff like this. Ah, the knight, the knight comes in. Let's see here. How do we increase the pressure? That's the question. That's always the question, right? Hmm. Let's see. Now this is interesting. Rook, a rook on the D file, but, okay, okay. So why don't we do this way? We go here, cover the bishop, castle queen side, get the rook on the D file, hit the queen, and then if they ever go, uh, but if they go here, I want to go to C5, which I'd be a little more reluctant to do with the king there, but maybe this is a unique circumstance. Let's just start with this. I think that's the right way to go. Guard the bishop, get the knight out, keep the, so now I got a pretty nice lead in development. We have four activated pieces, they have like one active. So this should be pretty bad for them. Now this rook can swing or can go, you know, can swing. Now I, I, you know what I might do? Not castle queen side, just go here, and the king can tuck away here. Okay. I think I open it now. I think we're going for the opening because I don't want to see them seal this up in any way. If I take. Just, I think it's going to be some pretty insurmountable. Uh, I don't want this right through. I don't want to see this right through. Either. Let's let's continue this plan. So we're just getting the pressure here. It's going to be pressure here. And again, the idea is that if I'm anticipating a push, then I'll strike like this. And there's going to be problems against the queen. There we go. So they're kind of doing what I expected. And now that's problematic for them. Okay. Oh, they have that move though. They do have that move. That was a pretty good resource, but we're going to um, step up to pressure.
and this knight's gonna help shield my king. King F8, king F8 I can just walk over if I need to. King should be safe. Especially in a closed game like this. So playing kind of positionally in this game, just, just sort of pressing, pressing, pressing. And like I said, this person's pretty strong. They're not just, you know, they're not a patser. They're not just giving me any, uh, uh, you know, opportunities. I have to work for it. Not to say the last opponent was, but um, this opponent is stronger than the last one. So if they take the pawn, I'll probably just pick up this one. Probably. I might just take back, though. Oh. Yeah, we also have this idea coming in here, but the bishop's there. I think I'm going for this capture. Maybe it would have been better the other way, but that's okay. Queen to, okay, we'll play the end game again. Now we will not mess up this end game. Nope. We will not mess up the end game. Uh okay, we're gonna we're gonna pick up another pawn. Keeping my guard on this diagonal. And keeping control of that. And we're gonna go here. And we're gonna win the pawn. Okay. So we're up a pawn again. They're pretty good at, def at defense, as we saw. So, oh, no. Went the wrong way, didn't I? I gotta guard that. Alright, we have to work with this more. Okay, they are, they are tricky. They are tricky. Tricky defense. They're not giving me that. Gonna maneuver a little bit. Okay, there's still, at least we, we have them tied down there. That's what I want. Um, we take it? That's a question. I think we have to take it. I think we just go here and see what they do about these threats. This is also a problem for them, This, but I have to watch out for this pawn. And I, can, I may have to retreat to the bishop just to hold that pawn since they have that counterattack. Yeah, go ahead and secure that. But this is coming here. It's gonna hit this one and this one. So start hopping with the knight. So if you, we gotta kinda of keep working this position. Like I said, they're they're a good defender. They're not they're not just collapsing here. But after bishop e6, okay, they're not okay, okay. Sure, let's get that in. And uh, I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm liking the shift to the C file suddenly. Okay, they can't. Well, yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that. Let's cover that. Okay, we're going to shift to the C file now. All right. Gonna give that one up. I'm gonna get that at the right moment. Try to win this pawn later. The rook's a bit overextended where he is. Can we exploit that? H6. I think H6 is uncomfortable. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay.
we'll get that pond later. All right, no tricks here. Ah, uh, they're gonna get that one anyway. Okay, so we'll just trade down. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. I thought I mixed, missed something in. They, yeah, they're getting some. They're getting like something back, but we're still at the exchange. It should be enough to win. But again, oh no, no. <laughs> that was good. That was very dangerous. Let me do touch move. They're making me work for it. They're making me work for it. We're trying to get both of these pawns now. I think that's should be sufficient now. Whew, that was intense. I almost just pressed off the board with like four seconds left too. All right. Let's take some pawns. I think this should be good because we have the past age pawn. They're going to go after this pawn, of course. Yeah, they probably get that one actually. But that's okay. Okay, no checks. Yeah, this one, I'm pretty, I'm more certain about this one than the last one. But it's not over till it's over, right? Because I'm going to push the H pawn. Drive them off. Pick up this pawn soon enough. Mm. Yeah, I think we could convert this pretty quickly. We give them the fork. Take this, and that's a win. Yeah, because we're way far ahead in pushing our pawn. So that's game. And no. Then we do not let them escape that time. So sometimes you can, a lot of times what happens is is in a rook and versus knight end games, you'll just trade you just give your rook back for a for a king, winning king and bond end game. Gotta convert. So press against that diagonal again. And let's start shoving the H pawn down the board to try and pry open the diagonal against the queen. So this time I can play it. Last time was a little more positional. Maybe this time I can get more of an aggressive position. But they can, they can go H4 and just slow me down. Or H5, I think. That was intense, though. We had some uh, good games here. Hmm. Where are the weaknesses? Well, g6 is slightly weakened. You gotta work, hit this pawn, hit this point. Get the knight out. Get to g5 soon. Um, knight might come to e5. c4, probably. To open up both bishops. C4, D4, things like that. They already they went for that. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Ah, they can. If I go D4, then it, it might open the queen. I think this is okay. We'll start with this. And then uh, d4 next, probably. So I would like to take back with the knight and stick on f5, increasing pressure against g7. So 
So they got this aim in here. Hmm. Maybe uh, E3, I'm looking at Knight here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's go with the central strike. Oh, really? Mm, I don't know about that. Well, they got problems on the D file. So, I can just take this way. I got pressure here. Hmm. So I'm not gonna take yet. Yeah. Actually, if I if I do, I can we can give another weak pawn that we could try to try to pick at, kind of like last game. I have this possibility, then they can bypass. That gets interesting. Yeah, I think we'll just secure it again. again. Just give him a weak pawn on c5. And if they take back with the knight, it opens up that bishop even more against the queen. Pick with this one. Well, aren't they just losing? Looks like it's losing, but no, it's not. Almost losing. <laughs> I can't go here because then they have a check, unfortunately. Almost works. But they are pinned. So I think we should castle them. Keep them in the pin. Make them do something about it. Now we guard the rook. Okay, they castle as well. This is still problematic here for them. They're gonna try and maybe trade it off. They're leaving. I hope they're not leaving and uh, looking at a computer version or something. That'd be that'd be annoying. Let's see. Knight G5 with E4 in mind. Yeah, I like that. Stops Knight E4 as well. And then we can we can play this. So if they go here, we hit them with this. And it's just a good spot for the knight anyway. But E4 should be pretty strong once I play that. It's a tricky game because it's symmetrical, almost, except for this, these pawns on the queen side. So I want to try and strike at that somehow. Okay, queen sort of gets out, not really. Play this one now. Yeah, if they want to take my rook, I'll just take back. Then I'll have the D file. They don't want to trading there. It's kind of like they're having a, sh a shootout, they're just staring each other down, and nobody wants to really take. So the idea now is I could swing to c3 and hit this pawn, give him some problems. Not really doing much with that. Oh, they have bishop e5. No, do not want bishop e5. So I think we need to insert. Yeah, that could work. That should work. So basically we're um, hitting this. This is still guarded, and I was looking at this move. Nope, doesn't work. 96. 
they can't allow that fork, right? So F6 almost works, and then they can take this pawn, but no, even even then, uh, this is hanging. But, you know, at least they'd have a trade of pawns. But, okay, so they swing their queen over. I don't see any problems here, though. Hmm. Maybe King H1. That uh, could be problematic. We don't want that. Queen F3. Yeah. And then F6 can be played at, at this point. Um. Then I would just reroute the knight to F4. They would create weakness. I'm still gonna go to f4, yeah. I mean, for example, if they go knight d6. As they did. If you go here, opening the bishop up is another protector. And I'm feeling pretty good about the uh, attack. g6 is gonna be crushed. I think they're gonna get crushed if they play g6. They might get crushed. If they go to g6, I have queen swings over here. And they have to go like, yeah, it just doesn't look pleasant then. G6 there, he's gonna have to go knight, knight back to F6. Ah, then E5 wins a piece. So you see G6, Queen C3, Knight F6, then I go to E5 fork, hitting this one, if the knight goes there. So I'm thinking, yeah, this is gonna be hard to meet. Hmm. So Queen C3 is definitely uh, top of the agenda. Hopefully they're not listening to that, because <laughs> then they would know. But uh, but again, I uh, what do you do about it? It's not easy. Well, now I'm threatening knight h5 as well. So I got a dual threat of knight takes h5. It might be a winning position. I don't know. It's just hard to stop. No, they have e5. I think they have one defense. So if they go g, I mean g6 just can't be pleasant. You know, it's it's just not the move you want to make. E5. Now, e5 doesn't look like it's going to be successful either. Yeah, that looks dangerous. They go there right away. Queen c3, yeah. So we just come right in. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Uh, okay, I'll just take it. I was going to do something else. Queen c3 would have been too loose. Would have left the f4 knight after knight e5. I almost missed that. So again, it's, it's all about anticipation. You know, what can your opponent do? What are their resources? I mean, I'll just take the free pawn. I'm not really sure what the f is. I mean, king's open. There might be some tricks like knight takes g7 even. There's definitely a lot going on here. Knight g7. There's the e5 idea coming if the queen moves. Queen moves to where? To where? To where? You know, I think... Maybe the knight just goes back to g3 and it's completely fine. If I need to. It's not. It's not just a pawn, right? It, it, it's a. It's a kingside pawn that I could use. I can use this pawn now. Hmm. It's tricky. But yeah, that looks like a free pawn. That queen goes here. Like I said, um, I just go back and I secure this one. Looks to be. Now. Can't increase the pressure. Get where they're going. They want ninety four, I think. I play rook c one. And that, the problem is that knight on g five is just annoying, right? 
Nice staying there. Kind of overstage welcome. Okay, uh, maybe just try this. It's sort of unpleasant. FC4, Bishop G3. Uh, okay, this is going to super messy. Oh, what was I thinking? That was terrible. That was terrible. I made my, then I made my blunder. There is the blunder. That's the blunder. Okay, they just get to take that. But we're going to keep fighting. Try to complicate. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible because I was really pressing. Really pressing and they were losing that, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, looks like they might get one now. Okay, we'll still do what we can here. Here. Um, that's gonna fall, we'll just give him, we'll give him that. Take this, go back. Get this one. She comes in there. They're just trading down. Okay, we got a trade. And now let's see, I guess we're gonna see their technique now. I don't know, I mean, I still got that, that pawn in C6, it's kind of annoying. And they blundered, so I got lucky. Terrible blunder though. I was building up, just building up. Just threw it away there. So now I'm up like what a pawn? <laughs> After all that, huh? Interesting. That is a strong pawn though. So now again, we have the challenge of trying to beat them in the end game. Um, but they, they had me. Yeah, they had me for a minute there. Now let's see if we have them. It's still, it's still tricky, you know. Win it, but I mean, winning with the pawn up is it's an important technique to have. Okay, where are they gonna go with this? So I stop not f6, f3, where do they go? King f3, rather. King f3. Stop king f8 also for now. Yeah, I'm gonna activate my king. That must be the right way to go. I mean, at that point, even if they win the c6 pawn, I would still have active pieces. And it's diagonal. Can I just take it? It's diagonal to the uh, to this one, so, so it can't really do anything. And then we just go here. And that should be pretty good. Um, What do they do with this? Come here. Improve the king. Uh, toss in a check. Let's maneuver a bit. Maybe rook c5 check is coming next. And okay, they, now they're just really blundering. I'm the one who should be blundering if I'm here on 10 seconds, but yeah, they're just giving me free stuff now. Um, so that's an extra piece, and yeah, it's hard to come back now. Oh, they just left. They they bailed the game. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess they had enough. They they did pretty well. Like I said, they they defended really well. They gave me a hard time. I felt pretty good about that build up though. Um, earlier on. Build that. Got um. Yeah, before this. So like right here. This had to be winning. Once I took this, even after this. 
queen e3. Um, okay, let's analyze. I'm gonna analyze that real quick because that that was really interesting. But I'm just thinking, okay, what what was the best thing to do around that point? So, yeah, this is I'm up like two three points here, the two points. So was this the right way to go here? Yeah, knight uh, f4 was good. And I was thinking about g6, but again, it just didn't seem that. I guess it was their best move. It seemed dangerous for them, but <clears throat> not enough, maybe. Because I was looking at queen c3. What? It said b4. I was looking at this, for example. And they just have e5. And, and they're kind of holding on. But it's it's still, it's real dangerous. Um, a lot of pressure here. And the, the main idea is that if, if they want to play f6, I have knight takes g6. And if they want to play... Um, knight f6, then I have this fork I was anticipating. Uh, wait, it says I could even I could even sack or something. No, it's just just a fork. And oh, they have knight b5. I didn't look at that, which is still strong. Though. And then I'm just you know they're getting kind of plowed here. They have a knight here. I don't know. I mean, no, it's, it's not it's not over for sure. Um, but it's an attack. Just keep building it. And I think that's kind of similar, like I said, in the position that happened, where. So he's saying, you know, white has some advantage, plus plus one or so, about a, equivalent of about a pawn up. Um, so 93 was good. I could have taken the rook. Uh, 93 is fine, I think. Yeah, that looks good. And then, oh, did I miss something? I could have done e5, I guess. Yeah, e5 would have put some good pressure on them. But I went for uh, queen. I wasn't really sure what to do here. I think I moved too quickly and didn't have enough time or something. But queen f3 is kind of missing the point. Oh, then they have f6. I was thinking they were going to have six because now I don't have because see when they play f six if the queen's on this side of it I can get ninety six in I can't get that in anymore because the queen can can guard so yeah they should have gone f six then I have to retreat and then uh, wait what oh then they have a fork so it's, that's a funny fork right there with the bishop guarding it and I, in my last video I talked about the power of that bishop on h two um, that my opponent did against me in a, in a league match so yeah this this is just queen f three was a mistake so if I keep building this is the first key thing I need to do. They still have f6, and they drive me back, and it's like about even. But um, okay. But anyway, then I have not f4, and I, good thing I saw that right. You know, didn't didn't miss that chance. And they have in the game they played not f6. And well, obviously this doesn't work now, right? Because the bishop. But knight takes h5 is just kind of breaking up their king side. And you already have this, these bishops aiming in. You have a pawn in the center that can push anytime. You have a rook on the file. You got two knights in here. You got a pawn ready to push. Definitely have our five piece minimum rule aiming to five pieces aiming at the king side. So that, okay, then now, of course, that's where I missed this. I blundered and let them do a trick based on that. Um, so it's saying I just, just build up, you know, rook comes out, secure this, and maybe shift the C file, kind of like what happened. So. Knight, knight here, knight here, uh, and then I go here, which which minimizes my advantage. As you can see, that bar dropping for white, right? So, yeah, not not f five seems totally reasonable, and I'm threatening a fork. Oop, not there, there. And if they defend it, what do I have here? Just kind of a build up. Well, they're threatening a mate, so we, we need to do something about that. So we block, let's say, and there was that move coming, of course. No, you. You just take it, you just win in a you just win a pawn. So now we're up two pawns, aren't we? Yeah, it's just two pawns up with a good position, so that should be winning. Um, so I kind of just shuffled around and misplayed it a bit, I think. And nine to five is yeah, still really strong. So they go e five, I go rook c one, which was okay. Um, Bishop d3, to, what is it, the idea of bishop d3, to, yeah, that's kind of a nice maneuver, I like that. And then adding pressure to here. I think rook c1 was not bad. They go here, but then it's like, what do I what do I do with this? I should still go, should still do this maneuver. I, this, the stockfish is liking this. I like it too, yeah, why not? <laughs> um, b4, so I hit this, and then that's where I, well, no, I didn't mess up yet. They should have gone knight g4, but they, they go here. And then I just blundered a piece. <laughs> so I should have, I mean, just simple chess I could take. Well, it seems like they, you know, the bishop gets kind of active, but it's in the, the line of danger. Bishop takes and queen f3. 
Well, I'm heading to F5 with the knight, so I guess I don't want to have to give it up. It's not really a human move to make. And then just, like, move the queen out of the way. You can even trade down, but white's, you know, white's still just up a pawn. Good position. The knight's getting in here. I mean, look at those knights. Just in, influx of pieces. Um, okay, if you want to take it away, they're creating more weaknesses. Okay, wait, let me just trade down. Maybe that rook gets out. Yeah, it's it's not it's not the kind of position where it's there's an obvious thing to do right away. It's more of just like a build up, and you got to be happy with just an extra pawn and knight sitting on g5, anchored in by the pawn. That's just an extra pawn. You could throw it at them later. So yeah, once we make the knight move, and they're tied down to this right now. Once we make the knight move, we'll play h5. So yeah, that was that was intense. Some good matches. Um, and feel free to ask any questions if you're watching. And let's see. We have oh, an hour and twenty. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get one more game in. Let's see. All right. So I'm gonna stick with the. That was five plus five. Maybe one. Yeah, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go back to one plus three. Play some quicker games if somebody someone's game. Okay, what is that? Some ad or something. Um, lunch, lunch doodles. Okay, I don't know how I went to lunch doodles. Um, so we're doing this atmospheric Afro beat, Afro pop. Let's see. Um, dance hall. All right, let's try this. And I think we got a game. Yes, okay, we do. All right, I just where the weaknesses here. Yeah. Ah, those ads. Remember the good old days before YouTube bombarded you with ads? Right, skip, skip, skip. Okay. So, no, not that one. Where are we? Yeah. Okay. All right, so it's kind of like a solid start. Not really good. Not not many immediate pawn breaks in this game because the knights cover everything. So we'll just play more of like peace play and put a little pressure on this. Can we can we increase it? No, I don't see it right now. Only after the opening of the line. Maybe I just get the rooks in the middle and play for the opening of the line. Hmm. I'm assuming they're gonna go G3 for this red four. I'm gonna try something pretty aggressive. I'm going for this immediate central central strike, okay? So it's risky for sure. Let's see where it leads. But I think I'm I think I'm okay with it. I think it's safe enough. Now let's just uh no. I was gonna say let's just cast on both things. I don't wanna walk into this getting this taken. So we'll cover that. Maybe I'll even come in here. Oops, coming in there. And we got one plus. Okay, we gotta move a little fast. Let's get, get, get that touch screen. All right. So we got. Okay, we did that. And that's castle. And I'm feeling pretty good about my developments. I don't even need e4. Yeah, why not? Break open this. Okay, this is getting weird. Let's just see what happens.
just active piece play. Probably not the most accurate, but I think for practical chances. Now knight c3 is going to be a, it's going to be really awesome if we can play knight c3, and we can, boom, and we win the queen. All right, that was that was interesting though. I I, I feel like that they did they were doing fine against me. They were doing completely fine. I, I think I actually made it. Honestly, I think I think f5 was probably a mistake because I was just trying to I, I was just trying to open the bishop, you know, but. Still, you know, the opening of line, like look at the look at the pressure I have and the opening of lines. Let's, let's look at the analysis board real quick because I think the opening of lines has got to be favorable here. So, wait, uh, yes, no, not f5, but yeah, okay. So it likes pushing. I mean, pushing clearly gives me some space. Ah, see, I should have followed through on my idea, right? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Since I went to here, I could come to a6. I can look at that. Boom. So I could just swing the queen back to a6, hitting this one, probably forcing something like knight g1, which is awful. What about rook here? How bad is that? I should d7. What's the point? Just just, just throw the pawns over here, I guess. I didn't really want to play e4, though, and give them that f4 square back again. Although I could, now that I'm on the other side of the board, I could play g5 without fear, because my king wouldn't have to be, you know, guarded over here. So I could just throw my kingside pawns with abandon. I like that's really cool though. So it's this idea. I didn't think about this. So check and then back to a6. But see, my you know, just looking at this in a couple seconds, I was like, okay, I want to hit this rook. And I'm like, ah, I can't get in there because the pawn's in the way, but my bishop can be activated. So funny enough though, after this, is d4 just wrong? They should, yeah, I was thinking they should just take it. But even if they win two pawns, it says only plus one. There's just so much, there's just so much pressure after it. Yeah, bishop takes. C5. This, this is kind of nasty, actually. Look at this. C5. It's hard to defend it. Oh, it says they should go C. Okay, let's say they make a normal move, like Bishop back. Again, yeah, we're getting here. We're coming in and stuff. It, it looks unpleasant. And black is like down two pawns, but already probably with advantage. Okay, wait, wait, wait. They have knight B1. And then we get our queen A6. Oh, that's awesome. Hitting this. Queen goes to D2. Um... I see seven. That's not that's not obvious. I see seven. That doesn't seem good. Yeah, there's nothing nothing like no concrete follow up, but it looks strong. It does look strong in a bullet game anyway. Um, but as it went, I, I thought 95 was fine. Oh, but then they made the worst possible move and allowed the fork, which is pleasant for me, um, just to see this kind of infiltration on the dark squares there. Um, it couldn't hold either one of them. So, knight, but I don't know. I mean, knight takes d4. You still get knight c3. Ah, they have knight takes b5. Well, that's not really what I want to have to do, right? It still says black is better, though. You go c4. I go back inside here. Ah, okay. And if they go queen c2, you get to take e2. If they go here, you get to take a2. Wait, and then suddenly g5 is apparently winning almost. What is going on? This is insane. Is it bishop takes e5? Yeah, and then we're just, now we're really getting, that's the whole point. That could be really cool. So it's super tactical. As I said, you know, chess 960 just leads to these really cool situations. So uh, let's see. I guess uh, maybe I'll do one more. There's some pretty fun games. Do one more, one plus three. Uh, still getting closer to 2100. Get back to 2100 and try to hit that 22. On, on chest 960. It's you against you when it comes down to competing against your your own um, rating, basically. Okay, we got one more. Woo! Ah, fire alarm just went off. All right, I got to deal with that. Hopefully, I don't have to go outside. But. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, call it there. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, that, that was fun. Got some good chess games in. And we'll be back with some more streaming soon. All right.